try to fit into certain groups, certain frats, certain sororities, you know, among certain friends. Yet the people we idolize are most are the ones that stand out. But when you're prepared, there is no fear. There is no fear of failure, okay? Because even if you've walked out of something and you feel like you failed at it, your preparation is so strong that you're gonna take that failure and turn it into the outcome you desire. And most people stop at failure. We've all failed at things. It's the most powerful tool you can use, but it all depends on how you use it. It's that drive inside of you, okay? It's what we talk about, the dark side. The dark side is filled with failure, but it's the fuel that burns you like something that's never burned inside you before. There's so many individuals out there that are so talented in different things that never accomplish anything. Okay, the world is filled with talented people. You know a lot of them yourselves. Okay, and they never accomplish anything. With talent has to come preparation, has to come action, has to come development of being able to take those talents, take those skills, continue to develop them, continue to sharpen them physically, continue to sharpen them mentally, because at some point, your physical talent is going to diminish. You go like this, but then you hit this plateau. And most people in that plateau, they go, wrong job, right. wrong relationship, wrong business, because it's not instantly fulfilling them. But the people that go, I'm gonna fight through and go deep. I'm gonna find a way to break through. I'm gonna find a way to learn and know more about this any human alive so that I can help as many human beings as possible. And it won't be bullshit, it's because I've lived it. There is a power in mastery. And how many people do you know are really committed to mastery today? Most people dabble in a million things, they master nothing, and they wonder why they're unfulfilled. Because mm -hmm. they're running for the sugar, the next thing that feels good, instead of getting past what doesn't feel good and getting to where you own something. We live in a Facebook world where people fake their life, put new filters, make it look different than it really is, tell stories that you know are totally full of it to make themselves look good. Because we live in this kind of false world where significance is more important than love. I think when you find your lowest point in your life, I think you're kind of open to a lot of things to try to change it and to try to get back on the right path. Phelps now three for three here in Beijing, his second world record after he started it off in the 400 IM with one. One. I had to change my approach a little bit on how I approach the game. I wasn't that good in the first two games here in this building. I watched a lot of film. Detailed it out. Take my blue press again. It's on my terms. In the end, I had to invest everything, and um, I had to, was borrowing money from Benz to pay the rent. Yeah, I sure hope it was worth it. I sure hope it was worth it.